scientific reasoning portion of the science section of the ATI exam. So we need to know specific measurements using the metric system. So we need to know that there's a thousand milliliters in a meter, that there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, there's 10 decimeters in a meter, one meter is one meter, one decameter is 10 meters, one hectometer is 100 meters, and one kilometer is 1,000 meters. We need to do the same thing for mass. We need to understand one decagram is 10 grams, one hectogram is 100 grams, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. And same with the liters. Like, we need to know one kiloliter equals 1,000 liters. So one way to remember this is King Henry doesn't mind drinking cold milk. So it goes kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter. So that's King Henry doesn't mind. But if you're talking grams, it's not going to be the M, it's going to be the G. Or if you're talking liters, it's going to be the L. But at least this will set it up in the right way. So King Henry doesn't mind. The mind isn't going to be the M, it's just going to be whatever you're talking about, whatever measurement you're talking about. And then drinking cold milk. So deci, seti, milli. Okay? Because milli is one thousand, centi is one hundredth, deci is one tenth, deca is ten times, hecto is a hundred times, and kilo is a thousand times. So you need to remember how to convert those things. We need to also understand data from experiments. So scientific method is a method of testing an idea by designing and carrying out an experiment and then analyzing the data after. Our hypothesis is the statement or question that we're investigating. A hypothesis is an educated guess on what we think is going to happen. So every study or scientific study has to have an independent variable, a dependent variable, and a control variable. An independent variable is what we think is causing it. So it's something that can be changed throughout the experiment. The independent variable is what we manipulate in the experiment. Our dependent variable is what changes when we manipulate the independent variable. We never manipulate the dependent. That's our results. That's what happens if we manipulate. So we have a plant growing and we want to see if we give it more light, will it grow faster? So our, our amount of light is our independent variable and the growth of the plant is the dependent. So we can change the light. We can turn it up higher, turn it down lower on different plants. The dependent variable will be what happens when we manipulate those. Our control variable is what stays constant during the experiment. So that could be the amount of water we give the plants. It, every, every time we grow it, we give it the same amount of water three teaspoons a day or something, or the amount of soil. Like those are our control variables. They have to be the exact same every time we repeat the experiment. And our control group is the group that doesn't receive the intervention. So in that situation, it would be the group that doesn't receive an increased or decreased amount of light or doesn't receive artificial light or our scientific experiment will lead to a conclusion. We'll be able to identify does X equal Y? Does increase light equal increase plant growth? Like whatever we're studying, we can figure out and come to a conclusion. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It's the cause and effect relationship. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys.